the true story behind the heart hit Never from Holly Knight, who co-wrote it. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Holly Knight has written a lot of songs for a lot of people. Her tunes appear on hundreds of albums. Pat Benatar, Tina Turner being the two biggest. And then there's Heart. The biggest was a number four hit called Never. After I met the girls, we just made a date to get together and do some songwriting. You know, I had, the day before, my guitarist from Device had been over, and he sort of played me this funky line, which was the da 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 you know, which is that past the first time. And I just kept going back to it. So when we were there, when I was there with the girls, I sort of played them the idea. And then Anne just started singing over it. So I said, well, that's not my idea. But, you know, she was like, tell him to come over. So he came over. So we, the four of us, worked on that. But Anne and Nancy, because they would kind of add some things, but they wouldn't actively be a big part of the songwriting process. They decided to combine their name into one name, which was Connie. So you'll see on a record, it'll, they're saying Anna Nancy, and you will know, say Connie Knight and Jean Black, who was the guitarist. The lyrics, the, the whole never, the, um, that was all me, you know. When I interview artists and they'll come on camera, Holly didn't. She didn't have time to. She couldn't set it up. But a lot of the times when I interview an artist, they'll have their gold records behind them. You've noticed when I interview, actually, it's right over there. When I interview artists, I usually have my wall behind me, but it's not gold albums. I'm not an artist. It will be autographed albums. Whenever I'm doing an interview and those albums are behind me, those are all autographed that I've obtained through being in radio 37 years. I digress. When I talk to artists, I, a lot of the times I'll want to see their gold albums or their, as they call it, wall of shame. And I could never believe that I'm going, why would you call it that? I mean, if I had a gold album, I'd be flaunting it. I'd be saying, I earned this. It's really great. But not all artists are like that. I don't know. I've never had that discussion. Um, my plaques are like from the ceiling to the floor. And I, I just get the best responses if, uh, if I post a picture with those because if someone said to me, you Photoshop those. It's like, nope. Do they not you. know who you are? What the heck? I don't know. I hear you. Mine are all over the place. And um Good. I don't know. Maybe it's false modesty. I, I think as they get older, they think like, "Well, why did I say that? I should have. I should have taken those records and I should have put them up." It's like, "Fuck yeah. Um, yeah!" You know, I'm proud of it, and it is. It's like it's people walk in. It's the first thing they do to start looking up and down the wall, and they start smiling. And I think, "Yeah, good. I mean, why not? If you're a badass, why hide it?" Yeah. And plus, it's your house. I was just thinking. In Gene Simmons' house, he had a lot of his record plaques in his bathroom. That's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, you know, he had them on the bathroom, the ceiling, and right. it was like you. So I guess if you're going to sit there and take a, a, you know, yeah, take a crap or something, <laughs> I don't know. That's like Go to hollynight.com for more details on her. An amazing career. She was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2013. She's still writing, still enjoying it. She doesn't have to write. She doesn't need the money. We'll have more from her coming up next week. It's a long series on Holly Knight. In the next little while, we'll have a lot of long series on a lot of artists because we're backlogged with interviews because we, you know, it takes a long time to process and to edit these interviews and to cut them up and to present them. But we love it. It just takes a long time. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel and share our videos and support the channel. Buy a t-shirt. Helps us hire staff to cut up these interviews. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music.